So hello guys, what's up Kalash here and today I'm gonna be showing you uh, one of the best series that I'm doing so far on YouTube which is how to make an open world game uh, with basically zero dollar budget. So you have seen that games like Assassin's Creed and other open world games like Watch Dogs and all they are created with like hundreds of people on a huge budget. So what we're going to do from now on is we're going to create a series in which uh, we are just going to use the Unreal Engine to create it from scratch with no money used, okay, zero dollar budget. So uh, just go ahead and create a project in Unreal Engine and I just named it Project Odyssey because why not? So let's get started. Also. Uh, I just added the starter content. You can do that too by uh, add new, pressing on add new, add feature or content pack, and then content packs, and you can just add in the starter content. I already did that. Now the starter content has like uh, very uh, many uh, like materials and blueprints and maps that we can use. Okay, so that is going to be a good thing for us as we get most of our assets from here. So now, this does not look like an open world game. This doesn't even have a world. This does have a, has a skybox. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a world. So just right click here, create new folder and then just call it um, maps. Okay, and then we're gonna save this map into it. So now we're gonna create a landscape. So how do we create a landscape? Well, just pressing this and by default it will uh, this material thing will be set to none so we can just use the grass material from the starter content see it's already starting to come in handy and we're just gonna leave these settings to default and click create there uh, okay so now we have our landscape how, uh, how I just teleported to the landscape is by just press, uh, clicking on this landscape and pressing F that will focus. Now, I'll just click over here into place so that we don't see that paint thing again. We can paint on the landscape. So, this basically, this, this landscape is actually a small landscape which we can play around with. And by the end of this series, we'll have created a bigger landscape for an open world game. Okay. So right now, we only have this camera to play around with. Um, doesn't look very interesting, does it? So we need a character. So how do we do that? Well, first, we to content, click on new folder, and then type in characters. Now in characters, we'll create another folder named uh, Drear and that is the name of the character because it has this name in Mixamo. Now what is Mixamo? Well Mixamo uh, is a website that gives you free 3D models and animations too and these are some excellent animations and they give it to you for free. So pretty much take away over here and these are some good quality models. So you can download these. I chose this guy over here. Uh, so you can choose any one you want. I'll just choose this guy and then how to press download. So I mean, <laughs> you know how to press download, but how to download. Just press download and you can just leave the format to this and leave all the default settings. We want this in our T-Post so that we can animate it later and press download. Now, uh, I already have downloaded that, so I'll just show the folder to you. Open world assets. Characters, there we go. There's our gray.fbx. So, we can just import that, okay? So, we'll just create a new folder called meshes inside of gray. And then inside of that, we're just going to import, just click and drag, okay? Then we're just going to select this. So now just leave all the settings to default. We don't want to mess with it or it's going to create a really big problem. We won't be able to animate this. We don't want that at all. So just click import all. 
and then it's gonna import the FBS. So just ignore that. And it's gonna import all of these meshes. So it will compile the shaders and apply the material that comes with this character to itself. So you don't have to create a material. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Drare, hold shift and click on this last object that we have here and control save it. Control S so that we can save it. Now we can just look at our character. Here's our character and not very detailed I would say but pretty good. So what we have uh, what we can do now is actually create a character out of this. So still he's not gonna come anywhere in this game because we haven't set him to. So for this we're gonna create a blueprint. What is a blueprint? Well blueprint uh, can be like you know it can be refer referred to as a class if you have experienced other programming languages. So I'll just show it to you. Just right click uh, click on blueprint class and then we're gonna select the character class from over here. Okay. So just click on this character class and then drear underscore bp. Now underscore bp stands for blueprints and I just uh, have this naming convention over here. You can create your own naming convention. It helps you to stay organized. Let's go. To, uh, just go in this. And here, this is Drear. He doesn't have a body yet. So we have to give him a body. A body in game development terms is basically called a mesh. We just click on this mesh and just set it to our lovely Drear over here. And Drear, as you can see, is just too big for him. Too big for the capsule. We have to fit him in the capsule. That is important for later. So we'll just uh, click on the scale option and then we'll just scale him down. One important thing to note here is that I disabled snapping uh, on a scale grid. So I'll just show you what it does. So snapping basically if you have enabled it and you click the white box and then drag it. It's very snappy, right? But if you disable it, it will become smooth. So we want it to be smooth as um, to fit into it. And then I've also disabled the grid snapping for the motion right here. Sorry. This. So yeah, I, we'll just make him a little bigger. So you can just, oh god, this, the sensitivity. So you can just adjust your guy. Your word rare. Uh, think about this is enough. Then uh, now this arrow tells the direction in which the player is going to be facing. So we have to get our mesh to be facing that way also. Let's just do that. Rotate him by 90 degrees and there we go. Uh, so I just clicked on this to rotate. So yeah, we have Drear. Let's compile and save. And still, still he won't appear. Why? Because we have to change that in our world settings. Now, what is world settings? Well, world settings is basically the settings of the world. So this game mode, what is a game mode? A game mode is basically nothing but a mode in which you're gonna play the game so a game can have different modes so right now it's set, uh, set to none so we're just gonna create our default game mode uh, for an open world game so let me just actually create a folder for blueprints separately yeah. and then we're gonna create new blueprint for this and then the we can save it to our blueprint folder, just click it and then call this um, uh, open world underscore gm, which stands for game mode. Again, that's my naming convention. You can choose whatever naming convention you like. Press OK. Control S to save it. Now we can just edit this. So default pawn, we're just going to set it to dead underscore bp. Control save it again. Play. Now, well, this this doesn't look very good. 
so <coughs> this is not a camera angle we want to view him for uh, well why does that happen because he has no camera in his character so we're just gonna fix that so go to characters there and for bp open full blueprint editor that happens sometimes i don't know why but in this character now what we have to do uh, is we have to attach a camera to uh, him so that he can be viewed from like here so to do that we'll add a spring arm first so click on this and click on add component and then just type in spring arm now what the spring arm will help you in is that like when we add special effects to the camera the spring arm would help so now we don't want to view him from this angle we want him want to view him for from a little upwards okay so we're just going to move the spring arm right about uh, when it's like there so yeah i guess that is perfect now while clicking the spring arm we are going to uh, add component camera just the normal camera not the cinematic camera just the camera there and now we have this camera a little fancy looking camera so we can just compile save it and let's test this out so we fall and yeah so this guy actually has this t pose and we cannot do anything we cannot walk and we can't even look upwards and downwards so uh, we're just gonna fix this looking thing so we're just gonna delete all of this this will not come in handy so first what you've got to do is go to edit in project settings now what we'll do from this is basically go to input and then create these two inputs that i created from turn uh, we need to create mouse x and look up mouse y okay so uh, what are axis mappings why did we create this in axis mappings well axis mappings are basically uh, like say uh, we want to turn our character so based on how much we actually turn our mouse on the x axis we are gonna get the same amount of turning but if we use it for action mapping we will uh, even if we turn our uh, mouse a little bit on the x-axis it will just straight up turn about 90 degrees and that is not the effect we want we want a smooth one not a snappy one for a smooth one um, we are just gonna choose axis mappings so we are just gonna create these two inputs and now what we are gonna do is after creating these inputs we are just gonna uh, type in first uh, I'll just create a new event graph called basic input so that I can stay organized I want to organize these blueprints now input access turn and then what we can do is uh, uh, just uh, set controller uh, add controller uh, your input okay so we have to do this and then we're gonna copy this I mean no we don't copy this just do the same for look up uh, except we're just gonna add controller add controller uh, pitch input now remember that you have to drag this from the axis value uh, otherwise it won't work if you drag from the executable uh, it will just show up random things but yeah so this is how we do it just space it a little closer so yeah now we'll just name this um, mouse inputs okay and just show bubble when zoom just untake that now if we compile and save and go and play um oops sorry uh so i'll just move the camera closer to the ground so here as you can see we can look 
left and right but we can't look up and down we voice that and also we don't want our character to turn with the camera so how we'll do that how we'll fix those is that we'll just go to this rare bp self and this is using the controller rotation yaw the pawn which is basically the character so if this is using the character yaw input which is basically the turning then it will turn by itself so we just want to disable that okay so there but now we can't even uh, turn so why is that well that's because we just go to our spring arm and then we have to not inherit i mean we have to but we also use the uh, pawn control rotation that we have created over here so that it uses this compile save and if we play this there so as you can see we have created a very good system of moving the camera around our character so yeah that's it for this video guys so if you enjoyed it then a like would be super appreciated uh, and yeah i'll just keep doing more tutorials like this uh, so right now uh, our character can like look around itself and we have our character so in the next episode we're going to be applying the idle animation to it and then we're going to be making it move so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next time